Hi you guys, I'm here and I got some empties for you. So I've been dying to get rid of these empties. I mean, it's such a weird thing that we weirdos that like to record um, empties <laughs> on YouTube, we keep our trash so wrong in so many ways. So anyway, let me go ahead and do this so I could just get rid of this. Okay, the first two I'm gonna show you are not beauty related, but I've always wanted to stick them in there, but I always forget. And then when I leave them where I leave them at, they get thrown away like they should be. So I happened to pick them up and I brought them upstairs so I can kind of show you what I've been using. So the first one here is just some dryer sheets from Snuggle. This is the Snuggle Exhilarations. This one smells so awesome. They actually have a new thing from Snuggle. You know how they have those little, I don't know, they're like little packets. They look like soap packets, but they're scent boosters. Those things are good, but they have a liquid version now. I can't find it in um, my local public, so I don't know where I can get it from, but those are amazing. The scent boosters, like all of my clothes smell amazing all the time. When I put them on, like before, like you'll have like okay it smells good it's nice it's clean but the scent boosters you put a little cap in there like at the beginning of your wash and then you put your clothes in there um like i don't know if i wash my clothes three weeks ago and i put on that particular top three weeks later the scent that comes off of my clothes is awesome so if you can find it i would get it i would show you but it's not empty yet the next one is from all this is the stain um lifters and all it was just like a, a a good deal that they had when i was still couponing this was like at the very end of my couponing days um that i've had time to try to coupon it's good i prefer purex that's just like my thing i like purex the best this is the pantene pro v this was on clearance um i think right before i started going to school so right before january or so and um, it was on clearance for like two dollars and something cents and I had a two dollar coupon I remember that I don't remember much but I remember that um, so I got this for pennies and this is the color revival cleansing conditioner so um, I guess this is comparable to the when um, it was really nice I really like this and I was like why did they put this on clearance why nobody liked this kind of stuff I thought it was excellent really good they only had one when I bought it so I bought the last one that they have but it was really good next I have from Crest this is the Sensi Care um, mouthwash I don't really like this one it's kind of sweet I like my mouthwash to be minty and feel like it's doing something I don't want it to I mean I get it it's Sensi Care I got Sensi Care because it was couponing and it was a deal but um, I prefer something like even like Listerine just so that I know it's like burning and it's killing the funk. Next are from Strivectin. I recently hauled this, oh, it's leaking. I recently hauled this um, maybe about a month ago or something um, because with Strivectin you can earn free points and I use my free points to get some shampoo and some skincare products. This one is the Ultimate Restore um, Shampoo for Damaged or Thinning Hair. So, um, Strivectin hair products, what can I say? It's not what I expected. Initially, when I first started using it, like, I can smell it. It smells very chemically and almost like you just did your hair, like dyed it or something like that. It has like that after smell. You know how sometimes when you dye your hair, not all hair dyes do that, um, but sometimes when you dye your hair, it has that, that scent that lingers for a couple of days. Um, look at the bubble. There's a bubble coming out. Look, can you see the bubble? No. Oh, there you go. There's the bubble. Anyway, it has that kind of scent. And the shampoo on this one, the shampoo kind of like makes your hair completely like brittle and dried out. But then when you use the conditioner with it, it makes the conditioner's good. It's not the best. It's it's a good conditioner. I like the conditioner. The shampoo after a little while, I was like, "Oh, okay, it feels funky." but it, it kind of does good stuff. Like my hair performs well. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of like on the fence with it. It says that it, it soothes the scalp without stripping hair of natural oils. And I just find that like, is that even true? Because my hair, I'm telling you, it feels very brittle after I wash my hair with this. And so, you know, I wouldn't buy it. It's very expensive. It's over $20 each. So 
I wouldn't purchase that again. Um, I might purchase a different variety to see how that is. I, I have hair samples of the other variety, so I'll, I'll try those out first, but um, yeah, I don't, mm, it's not worth the money. This one I thought I had gotten rid of already, but I didn't. It's all banged up. This I got from Influencer. This is the Kerastase, um, the shampoo. So in this particular line, you're supposed to um, use the conditioner first, and then you use the shampoo. And this line is amazing. It's like a thousand times better than that Strivectin. This is the best stuff, and this is around the same price range. I haven't bought a re, um, I have not purchased it after using it. I've contemplated it. I wish they had like some kind of um, like deals or something like that. Then it, I would feel better about purchasing such a high dollar hair product because it doesn't last. I mean, it's lasted because I was like, this crap is so expensive and it's so good. I can't use it every day. I have to use it every once in a while when I need a good, good hair day. Um, but this stuff is awesome. So yeah, it was weird. You would use the conditioner first and then use the shampoo. I don't know, but it worked and it was amazing, amazing, amazing. I would, that's really good stuff. So this one is Nelson J. Beverly Hills Moisture Healing Mask. It has argan oil, seven formula, delivers a combination of multi benefits. It has like this whole list here. Like it detangles, it controls frizz, it helps with color fading, seal split ends, protects from chlorine and salt water, restores silkiness, shine, enhances natural body, or yeah, natural body, and it was coconut scented. Um, let's see, hold on, regarding the scent, let me check that out first real quick. Yeah, that's right, yeah, it's coconut scented, and I didn't like it. This is like, um, I don't know, I did not like this one at all. It took me a while to use it up because of multiple factors. The scent, didn't like it, um, and it didn't do any of those things that it was listed. Nothing. I don't like it. I don't know how much it costs for a full size. I think it was from a, a glossy box, I think it was. Um, I didn't like it at all. thought it was crap. And I used it when I ran out of any other conditioner in the shower and I didn't want to get out to go get another conditioner. That's when I used that. It was like, you're there. Um, this other thing here, this was from a trial from the pink panel. This was, I want to say this is Murad, but um, this was, it says a serum. It's step two. Oh yeah, look, September. It was from September of 2015. Um, th it wasn't this color before. It's pink now, and it wasn't pink, so I figured since it changed colors, uh, I think I, I need to get rid of it. Uh, I shouldn't be using something that changed colors like that. So. Yeah, when you're in like a beauty trial, you don't get to see what the product is. You don't know what it is. They just kind of tell you that uh, this is a serum and you need to use it in step two of your skincare. So, and then you find out after the trial's over. I think it was like 70 something days or 60 something days. I don't remember what it was. It was a long time. Um, and then they tell you what the product is, which I don't really recall, but I think it was from Murad. I have some wipes here. This is from Simple. I got this, I want to say in a Target beauty box. I'm pretty sure it was from Target. And this is the micellular uh, makeup wipes. These were really good. This made me want to get the micellular water because I was like, really? How come it took off all my makeup? Like even regular simple wipes, they're good. I like them. But this was like really good. It took off all my eye makeup unless it was like waterproof kind of stuff. Really good. I would definitely recommend this. These are the whole blends. Um, these are amazing. Every single one that I have ever tried. This one is the coconut oil cocoa and cocoa butter, and this is the honey treasures. This one is for it says tames and controls frizzy hair. This one says strengthening and heals damage. They're both awesome. They're really really good. They make my hair feel amazing for just pennies compared to the high dollar products. These are really good. I would definitely repurchase those. Um, this was just a sample that I got. Where did I get this from? And like uh, some beauty, I don't know, Ulta, Sephora, I have no idea. Whenever I bought something. It was just like a little sample of their Naked Flushed, I guess it was. So it has um, like a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. It comes in a couple different shades, like lighter and darker skin tones, I guess you can use it. And I really, really liked it. I liked every single one of them. 
and I was like, I didn't think of ever really using these types of little samples on paper, but it lasted for a few times, maybe more than just a few. And I was like, oh, this is good stuff. I really like this. I think I might get this one day. Um, what I really want to get, I heard that, um, what was that? That Tarte Sea, Living in the Sea, or some kind of sea something, that that foundation is really good. So I, wa I want to get that one. I heard it's long lasting and it's very natural looking on the skin. I'm gonna do a favorite soon because I got some stuff that I am so addicted to. Okay, next is this Murad Essential Sea Cleanser. I did get like a whole kit to do a review on and um, this is for like skin lightening, anti-aging. It's good, but I don't like the smell of this stuff. It just smells, uh, 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 I don't like the smell, but I used it because, you know, you gotta take care of your skin. I'm over 40 years old and um, I have my skin like this, probably hereditary, one part. Second part, I've been taking care of my skin since I was in my 20s. I'm all about the skincare. And once I got into my 30s, I was like really all into my skincare. So um, I don't consistently use one particular item most recently because um, I have so many things that I do a review on um, and you know, I, I just use a lot of products. I do have, actually, no, I'm wrong. I do have, why is there toilet paper up there on the windowsill? That's so weird. Hmm, that's very weird. My neighbors are getting scolded by their parents. <laughs> it's funny. I need to go over there. I want to go swimming. <laughs> I don't have a pool. They got a pool. I'm going to go over knock, knock, knock. Can I go swimming with you? All right, this has some leakage from my Strivectin pro hair products all over it, so I can't really touch it, but this is the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy. Um, this is really good stuff. I like this. This is the Total Care Nourishing Daily Conditioner. This is good stuff. I still like it. It used to be a thing back in the day, like what, like a year, year and a half ago, two years ago. Um, that was like the thing, and it's still awesome. Next I have is from Dove. This is the Oxygen Moisture Shampoo for fine, flat hair. This was good. I liked it. Um, it's almost, it's weird because it says for fine, flat hair, and I guess because it's like a, a, a clear formula, it kind of takes everything out of your hair, so I guess that's why it makes it more lightweight. Um, it was really good. I liked it. I still have a few more samples of it, and I'll probably use it. Use it. I'll definitely use it. Not probably. I will. This is just a little sample of Strivectin. This is their neck tightening cream. You know, I'm at the age right now. Actually, I should have been doing it already, but I use face cream. When I put cream on, I always put cream on my neck, always. Don't forget your neck, people. You see people? I have a friend of mine that um, her face is like flawless. Like she, her skin is beautiful, but her neck is kind of like creppy. Um, and I don't mean crappy, I mean creppy. Like you can see like super fine lines, like, you know, um, like if you see like your, your great grandmother and their arms have like all these little fine lines all over it and like there's no um, skin turgor, like they're, they don't look like they're hydrated. It's like that on her neck. Um, but her skin on her face looks fantastic. It's just her neck. So people don't forget about your neck. So um, I actually have this in the full size and I haven't used it, but it says within eight weeks that your skin surface tightens, um, your neck and jawline regain lift and contour. I need to use that because I don't think I have like creepy neck or anything, but you know, I might. Okay, next I have from Insta Natural. I have lots of products from Insta Natural. This is the Retinol Serum Supercharged Antioxidant Blend. So I always use a serum on my face. I think it's really, really important. Um, hyaluronic serum, something with hyaluronic acid in it, with vitamin C in it. I think it's really very important for, for you to use it in your skincare. It's anti-aging, it um, hydrates. Um, the hyaluronic acid helps hydrate your skin and helps your skin absorb more, um, say for instance, um, uh, your moisturizing or whatever. It, it helps your skin absorb more moisture, put it that way. And the vitamin C, I mean, you guys should know, it's anti-aging, It's it lightens and brightens your skin. This one has retinol, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and some fruit and plant ex ex extracts in there. So, nice. Um, next is from Pure Lease. I had this 
forever and a day, I swear I got this from Beauty Box 5. And that's probably not true because Beauty Box 5 was years ago. No, that's probably not true. I think I got this in a different Beauty Box subscription or something like that. I can't even read it. It's kind of rubbed off it. I think it says four in one, non-drying, I'm not sure. It's a soy milk cleanser. It was okay. I think this is more for you people that are gen need gentle um, skincare. I don't, my skin doesn't need something gentle. I can rough it up and take it. <laughs> this is from Kaylin. I got this in um, a beauty box. This is a tinted lip balm and it's in apple pink. It's um, just a cute package, but it's very unrealistic to carry anywhere with you. Um, and I didn't really like the formula. I didn't really use it all that much. It's kind of completely in there. It's full. It's just rough and I don't know. It's kind of thick and I just didn't really care for it. I don't like the whole thing that it's in a pot there and I don't like to use a lip brush. I, if I had to do it, I would prefer to stick my finger in there and I couldn't get my finger in there. So for that alone, of me having to work too hard to use it, I'm going to get rid of it. Next is from Stila. I got this in one of um, the kits that I got, oh, I don't know, it was in some Ulta haul that I did. Um, and they had one, like a certain kit for Ulta and they had another kit for um, Sephora. I don't know which one I got this in, but I got both of them. Um, this is the Liquid Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It has a very nice long pointy tip. I used this for the longest time and it was the only eyeliner I had used until it completely gave out on me and it was kind of skipping because I used it all up. But um, this is an eyeliner I would definitely repurchase. It is amazing. This is an excellent liquid liner. You can get the straightest, finest line. Give yourself the most amazing wing if you wanted to. If you like to wing it out, this is great. I'm telling you, the tip is super long and it's super fine. You can see that I banged this tip up because I used it so much. Next is from Bare Minerals. This was in the color Stone. It's just, I just didn't like it. I think I have, yep, I have a lot of product left in here. Look at that. I didn't like it. It was kind of drying and um, it tugged a lot on my eye and I'm like, it's not, uh. I don't need to be t putting no tugging on these eyes. I'm not 20. If I was 20, maybe I would tug a little bit, but I'm not 20. Okay, I've talked about this several times. This is the L'Oreal Matte um, Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. I use this almost every single day. I'm kind of switching out between the Marc Jacobs, um, what's that stuff called? In that glass bottle that makes a huge mess. It was horrible, but it's amazing. I would mix the two together just because one is a little bit too dark and one is a little bit too light. So when I mix them together, it comes out really nice shade. Um, I am not wearing it today for a change, um, which I normally do. But um, today I'm just using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. That's what it's called, Remarkable. So just strictly that. That stuff is full coverage. It is awesome. It feels like nothing on your skin. It's fantastic. It's worth the high dollar mark, I can tell you that. Next is some women's multivitamin gummies. I don't take vitamins every day as I should, but if you were, I would recommend gummy vitamins. Any brand, I don't care what brand it is. This was a deal, I had coupon deals back in whenever, and uh, that's that. Gummy vitamins are awesome. Um, Colgate Optic White, this is just one of the toothpaste that I use to keep my teeth white. I prefer the Crest brand, but Colgate always has coupons, so I use Colgate. But um, if you're looking to whiten your teeth, I would definitely recommend Col um, Crest. Crest, they have a whitening, like specifically to whiten your teeth. Like a, It's like a, do a super expensive, but um, I would recommend that if you're looking to whiten your teeth. It's excellent. But, um, you know, I use this consistently, and I think my teeth are pretty white. I have gross leakage all over my bag. Disgusting. Uh, gross. This is disgusting. I got this in a Target beauty box. Um, one of those $7 boxes. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray Set. Makeup setting, makeup extender setting spray. I'm sorry, I gotta drop it. It's gross. 
um, anyway, um, that's really good. I actually bought two of those boxes because I was going to do a giveaway with one of the boxes, but once I started using that makeup spray, I was like, mm, no, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. Couldn't help myself. So I like it. It's a little bit too expensive for a drugstore product. I probably, if I had to repurchase, I would probably want to repurchase, I don't even know, either a cheap of something or a high-end makeup setting spray because what is that like $18 for that Pfft, you're crazy next is from Olay these are the wet cleansing towelettes these are good I got them because there was a deal or something like that but these are huge wipes and they have a lot of texture to it but not too much texture where it is too abrasive it's just enough where it scrubs your face clean it's really nice I like these I would recommend them they're good this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi this is like a highlighting kind of pen concealer and it just it's like a clicker pen like you click it on one side is a clicker or a spin I'm not sure if it's a, a clicker or a twisty but I liked it I thought it was really good it didn't give any creasing or anything like that it was a nice one but it, it is a little bit costly for a drugstore L'Oreal is costly for a drugstore <coughs> I just figure if you're gonna pay that much just pay a couple dollars more to get high-end last thing in here is from Tarte this is a mascara what is this lights camera lashes it just kind of dried out on me um, it's good it's not something that I would say wow this is a nice mascara that you really need to get um, not so much um, but it's good and you get like a free sample in one of the kits or something like that it's nice to use um, I find that that particular mascara is much better when you wait and let it dry out just a little bit and then use it because when you use it right out of the container, brand new, freshly opened, it's kind of like uh, too wet and it doesn't give you the volume that you want, but it can build up and it can give you a lot of volume. So that is my empties. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in another video. Bye.